Hello, this is Clinton from CP Communications and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to schedule, edit and boost a post in Facebook for your Facebook business page, now called Facebook Pages. First thing you want to note is you do want to be logged in as your business and it's important uh, and easy to do that. If you see this little arrow here, click on that arrow, you'll see all the pages that you're an administrator for and you can see at the moment I am logged in as CP Communications because of the branding up here. Next thing you want to do is go to this area here. Uh, in this case I'm going to upload a photo. So I'm going to choose my photo. The photo is on my desktop. Here's my photo. And Facebook brings in the photo. As that's uploading, I'm going to add my copy. And so you can see my copy is here. I have the image. And there's a few icons down here that are important to take note of. First of all, there is a picture of a clock. And you can set the date and time of your post. This is really easy to do. So just click on that logo. And you can choose the exact date and the exact time and make sure that it is set up in your own time zone I'm in Sydney which is plus 10 so this is correct um, and then once you choose the date and time you can just click schedule in this case I'm not going to do that I'm going to actually share it right now I've clicked schedule. Now when you do schedule your posts uh, you can see them here it says six scheduled posts. Click on view posts and you'll see all the posts that are queued up. This is really helpful to to know. The other, here's my post which is queued. I'm about to send it in a moment but you can see it's queued up for 3 p.m. on the 15th of September. If I wanted to edit this it's really easy just click edit and you can go in here and I can edit any of the copy. This is a recent feature that Facebook has um, brought in, making it much easier to edit. And if I wanted to change the time, I can just click reschedule and I can actually choose a different day and time. So I'm just going to click cancel. And uh, what I want to do now is actually I want to I want to publish now. So I'm going to publish this right now. It asks me to confirm, click publish post and it tells me the post was published on the page timeline. So I'm just going to go to my timeline and check, check it, there it is. So this is what we call an image post and you can see it is possible to have an image with a link and if I click on the image you'll see the description here. I can tag the photo if there were people in this photo. Um, that I knew. I can add a location and I can also go back in and just edit this copy as well. So it's a great new feature that we have in Facebook to now edit our posts. It used to be very frustrating when we couldn't edit our posts. So next what I want to show you how to do is how to um, boost your post. So now this is um, this has been published. Once you publish a post you can boost it and this is what we call paying to play. Facebook has moved to a model of pay to play. The reach, organic reach of posts is very low. So if you do want to reach more of your fans and maybe even friends of your fans, click on boost post. And you'll see a number of options come up here. I'll just talk you through these options. So here is the post I want to boost. Uh, so you do need to publish your post before you can boost it. It will say here that it's sponsored. So people know that it is actually that someone is paying to have it appear in their news feed. And you have a few options here. You can choose people who like your page and their friends. That's what I mostly choose. But you can also choose people through targeting. This is not as powerful as using the power editor, which I do recommend if you want to get very specific about tar targeting specific populations. But it is still pretty powerful anyway. So if you want to choose people by country, you can do that. At the moment this is Australia but I could type a 
another country here if I wanted to. I'm going to put in Singapore for the moment. You can choose an age range. I might want to choose um, people between perhaps 40 and 50 for some specific reason. Very easy to do. Just edit the age there. You can also choose up to four to ten interests. So if there's a particular interest that you want people um, who have that interest to see this post, you would just type the interest in there and it would show up. I'm just going to put in marketing for demonstration purposes and you can also put a number of different, make suggestions here as well. Then you can choose your budget. Uh, there's a maximum budget of $45, but you don't need to spend that much. I could actually only spend $22, or I could spend, um, you can choose your own budget, but you can, you know, the sky's the limit here. It will also give you the estimated reach. You can see that for $22, I would reach between 1,300 and 3,300 people. And it also gives you the estimated reach here out of a possible 450,000 people that are interested in marking and live in Australia and Singapore. Um, $22 will show this in the news feed of 1300 to 3300 and once you're ready to boost just click boost I'm not going to do that now so I hope you found this tutorial helpful